Hello everyone. So as you know, uh, Edo election has come and gone. Voting has been done and uh, results are being compiled. But one of the things that you see that is so striking is how APC and PDP appear so similar. It's almost when you look at this result, it's almost as if you are looking at mirror images of each other. So where APC feels it's a strong point, it did what it needed to do. What, uh, where a PDP felt it is a strong point, it did what it needed to do. And one of the things that you could clearly see is that, uh, let, me, let me explain it this way, like I was explaining to someone earlier today, I said, look, for this election, where people think, oh, P APC and PDP, I said, APC and PDP, PDP have always maintained they are the same, right? They are the same. And what they want is to keep, continue to hold Nigeria in bondage. You can see both of them, none of them have thought about reforming or doing things that is focused on the people. It's always focused on them, on the politicians and what they, what they can get. And so a different party coming out has always been a threat to them. What happened in 2023 was such a massive threat that they felt the rug was almost pulled away from their, from their feet. That was why even in the region of that election, what they did was to say, okay, fine, can we get, let's push this party away, let's share these votes, take some of them, where APC is strong, it will take some of Labour Party's own, where PDP is, is strong, PDP will be the one that will be giving some of Labour Party's our votes just to keep Labour Party out. So having done that, for them, the notion that a third party can come out is so something that they cannot fathom, something that they must quash, something that they must kill. And so they will do everything humanly possible for them. And even the one died, conventional, unconventional, criminal, non-criminal, they will do it to ensure they stop it. It is APC and PDP that you see come up with arrogance and tell you that no other party has a right to contest or be strong other than the two, both of them. It is APC and PDP that will come out and tell you that you have to choose between them, you have no choice, and it has to always be between them. It is APC and PDP that will arrogantly tell the people that the people don't matter. And it is they and the party and what the party decides that matters. It is APC and PDP that we arrogantly say to you that whatever candidate they have, they will speak to the people, the people are nothing, they're not going to come out, and that's the way it is. Fine. And we talk about this weaponization. You've seen the vote buying, you've seen some places, it's as if, apart from the vote buying, like results were literally written and put out there. Because it's one thing, no matter how you go to buy votes, there's no how you're buying everybody at a polling unit. It's, that one is for certain. Some people will sell absolutely, and some people have sold. Some people said, oh no, some people said they are not even going to vote, or to, they will give it to the highest bid. I don't have a problem with that. Like uh, uh, someone said, you know, poverty has been weaponized. I said that poverty must be fully and absolutely weaponized so that everybody, let everybody enjoy that poverty that they want to enjoy. Since they say they want to sell their votes for the number of days, I, well, it's, everybody has a choice, you know, to do that. And so this is what they have done in the way that they have ensured. So for them, it's everything that can be, do, that can be done to squash that idea that there can be a third party, there can be a third force, there can be something out there. I say to you, my people, failure is never falling down. Failure is staying down. And I can say to you, from 1984 to 1998, or rather 1999, Nigerians were fighting to bring democracy to Nigeria. 84 to 94, that's 10 years. Another, uh, that's around 14 years. They, they fought to an extent where it was almost impossible. Nigerians had given up. They thought it can never be done until when after Abacha died and then, you know, Abdul Salam came in, we shall got that democracy. And I can say to you, my fellow citizens, people died for this democracy that we have. People didn't give up. 
Yes, they made that mistake of not staying on to the end because when democracy was about to come in, they didn't run for office. And then criminals, charlatans, and what have you got into office and they stayed on and they have stayed on and they brought their stooges. So I said to you, this is just the beginning. Yes, they've done what they want to do. They've done the, the magomago and whatever in the uh, two elections. No problem. I see some people gloating. Oh, we cannot say that uh, Edo State is no longer the capital of Labour Party and all of that. I'm like, uh, you know, <laughs> when they say MOU, MOU. <laughs> <laughs> some people think that they are, they, are, they are at the dinner table they don't know that they are, they are the ones on the table they are the dinner or there so what they want to put in people is the fact that you have no option other than them and you will go from one to the other and they will deal with you from one to the other and so this one that they are gloating with all this whole this whole charade that happened in a those state fine and good for me, it's like, fine, and for those who sold their votes, you have every right to sell, sell your vote, even though it's a crime, you decided to partake in it. No, wala. But that vote where you sell, no, say you go chop pan for four years. Me, I've said it before, ah, uh, me, I do tough love. You come and meet me and tell me you are hungry. It's your business, so. Oh, uh, Buba Galadima, what he said. <laughs> People are hungry. Let them die. It's their fault. Yeah, I'm supporting hundred percent. Hey, nobody. Like let you. everybody. Let everybody bear their son name. The people you sold your vote to, you go and meet them. That one. If that this one, that one is for another for another video. But this is just to say to everyone that came out in Edo, every Labour Party supporter, every Labour Party member that worked, every Olumide supporter, those that decided that they were not going with either the devil or the red sea they were not going to choose between the two evil or the lesser evil or whatever god bless you don't give up this is just the beginning some of these people that you see them reigning today they've been there for 40 years some of them 30 they've been doing this we just started and we are not going anywhere you see this politics we will do it this politics, we will clean it. Because to fix Nigeria, we have to fix politics. Because it is true politics, the people who are going to govern come in. And from that governance, it's where you get the policies that either make or mar our lives. So we will be part of it. Going away, uh, no one has for we here. We there here. Even this party that is, ShepDB was there for a very long time. They were the ones who were reigning. The other parties, they did, they did, they did, they did. It took them how many years? Was it not like 14? 16 years, yeah, 16 years before they were able to take PDP out. So we are just starting now. We will stay on it and we will get there and we will get it done. So I said to you, raise your head high. You did not commit a crime. If you had gone out to go and buy, also give money, ah, that's when you should be ashamed of yourself. But you didn't. You stayed on. You did the election the way it's supposed to be done, the way democracy should be, the way elections should be without any criminality. And I tell you, that structure of criminality they have will bring it down. They might look strong now, but they're already being chipped away. They are afraid. They are scared. All this, all this last minute, whatever you see them do it, is the dance of the chicken when his head has been cut off. We'll get there. It's just it's still dancing. After a while, it is still. So that this dancing, they are doing the dancing. I said to you, we did a great race, and we'll continue to do that, and we will stay on. And by the way, <laughs> it's time to begin to register into the party. Thank you so much. Bye.